A Fox News alert, Iran seizing control of a British oil tanker in the Strait of Hormuz. This is the latest in a series of incidents involving the Revolutionary Guard targeting tankers. Let's bring in the anchor of Special Report, Brett Baer. Um, all right, Brett, so what are we hearing regarding this U.K. ship? Uh, Julie, good afternoon. This uh, U.K. oil tanker called the Stena Impero, uh, the company put out a notice that it lost contact with this vessel uh, sometime today. Uh, we are being told uh, through the Associated Press and the Iran Revolutionary Guard uh, that it seized this vessel with Iranian uh, ships, small crafts, and a helicopter. Uh, there are 23 people on board. Uh, the reason this is significant is obviously because it's a continued ex escalation. There you see the company's statement uh, about this during the Strait of Hormuz transit. Uh, this is an escalation. You had a UAE vessel, an oil tanker, that was uh, taken control of by the Iranian uh, vessels in that area. You obviously had uh, the shoot, not shoot down, but bring down of a Iranian drone right. that the president announced yesterday. And uh, this is high tension in that region. It sure is. You just mentioned the statement from the U.K. company, and we have it. Let's put it back on the screen so we can read it, because we literally just got this. We didn't read it, though. Uh, U.K. registered vessel Stena Emperor was approached by unidentified small crafts and a helicopter during transit of the Strait of Hormuz. While the vessel was in international waters, we are presently unable to contact the vessel, which is now heading north toward Iran. There are 23 seafarers, as you mentioned, aboard. There have been no reported injuries, and their safety is of primary concern to both owners and managers. You just mentioned and you brought up the fact that the president yesterday discussed the fact that the United States basically had a drone that was shot down. Iran denied that claim. And then today, the deputy foreign minister of Iran said that, in fact, it's possible that the United States shot down its own drone. This seems yeah. highly unlikely. What are you hearing about that? No. Uh, the Pentagon is confirming that they brought down an Iranian yeah. drone, and uh, it wasn't shot down. It was brought down with this kind of new device that jams the, uh, the drone and yes, kind of digitally. confuses it yep. uh, and brings it down. The Secretary of State just moments ago said uh, it went down. Foreign Minister Zarif doesn't know about it or lied about it. I can't account for his his statements. So, listen, you have this back and forth rhetorically, but more importantly, you have a back and forth in the Strait of Hormuz. And now the U.S. military, through the Navy, is going to be moving assets and has assets in the region, according to the head of CENTCOM, that essentially is going to be escorting uh, various vessels. And there you have the possibility, at least, of something, you know, ticking off and, and creating a military incident. Uh, this is high tension, and this is, you know, for all the back and forth we hear about in Washington and what, who said what, this is the news that really matters day to day that potentially could lead to a big incident. Yeah, this is also frustrating for the United States because the president has said time and time again he needs European allies to jump in and, and actually assist in trying to secure this shipping channel where this is all taking place. We just, in fact, got some sound from United States Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on all of this. Let's play that, and then we'll react. In the end, uh, President Trump will make the decision about how to proceed. He's made clear we're prepared to conduct negotiations with no preconditions. The Iranians continue to say, well, they'll talk, but only if and only if the United States does something. Uh, we, we need them to come to the table. It's the right way to resolve these challenges. So who's going to come to the table first? I mean, that's the question. Uh, it's a great question. And I think the Iranians don't have a lot of options, Julie. They are yeah. in an economic pinch. And the, Iran wants the world to believe that it's dangerous or possibly risky to go through the Strait of Hormuz, and thereby oil goes up. Uh, if they go over the line and they push it too far, there will be U.S. military response directly. And that changes the dynamic 100 percent. So it is a game of chicken that Iran is playing currently. And uh, we will see how far this goes, the response by the administration. Uh, will be interesting, and the Brits will weigh in, obviously, because it's a U.K. flagged vessel that is now in Iranian control as of this afternoon. I mean, let's talk about how serious it would be for the failure to secure support for the Maritime Initiative, because not only would that be a big blow to the efforts made by the United States, it'd be a blow to its Sunni Muslim allies, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, to uh, isolate Shiite Muslim Iran and Iran-backed forces in the Middle East. This whole thing is escalating by the day, and the question now is who is going to take the upper hand. Obviously, the United States wants to try to damper, th tamper things down, but without our allies, can we do it? 
Yeah, and I think they're they're hoping that the allies will be on on the U.S. side. They are increasing sanctions. Just yesterday, more sanctions on uh, two Iranians who uh, directly have been uh, helping Iranian militias inside Iraq. Uh, there's a long history here, and the Europeans have to make a decision whether uh, they're going to stand with the U.S. It's been tense those relationships, obviously, uh, but I think that this event today may change the dynamic a little bit in Europe. Yeah, and now with that base that had just been reopened since 1990, right, in Saudi Arabia, I mean, it's just showing the United States is cer certainly putting up a, a, a fight here. I'm hoping they get some help. They may, and uh, obviously they're, they're saying that if you continue to test us, we will do something. Uh, the, the issue here is you don't want it to go out of control. So they've been trying to tamper back with sanctions mm -hmm. and small actions. Uh, but if these boats attack, something tells me, uh, there will be a, force, a forceful response. All right. Brett Baer, thank you very much. We'll watch you on Special Report tonight, shall we? Thanks, Julie. All right. See you then.